We're live. Hello, hello. Welcome to our Friday night auctions. I am here, guys. I'm in the background. I can. So. Oh, nope. You're not in the background. There you, there you go. are. Hey, <laughs> Sorry about that. We um, are here, so. So I don't see anything in the chat. Me neither. Not yet. That's odd. There must be something still, wrong. It's a thirty-second delay. It's still waiting for YouTube. That's what it says on my on my on my thing. Mm, yeah, people usually start to arrive sooner, though. Let's just give it a minute and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There they are. <laughs> they all popped in. Yeah. Melissa, Michelle, MT Baker, Rebecca. Hello, Clayton. Lisa C. James. Oh, James is here for the video games and the gaming consoles. <laughs> there we go. So. We're going to have some fun. All, All right. right we got here come Melissa, Michelle Layton, Pittsburgh, Rebecca Cruda, Clayton Smith, Lisa C., Hanger Hut, Linda Carcrow, My A. Hey, what's up, team? I great finds for you. Lathea Butts, Clayton Smith, Every Day I'm Hustling, MT Picker. Uh, the problem, yeah, Melissa, you're in charge tonight because I am not, I am not blue. More. So if you see this. anything, uh oh! Wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. I gotta, I gotta give out some wrenches. So hold on one second. <laughs> hold on one second. You know I'm still a rookie at this, right? Yep. Still a rookie. So let me just go over to uh, here. Hold on. Let me just. Okay, the speaker's off. So. Can you put it on? Um, Hello, Mr. Turtle Trader. Can you put um, a comment in, um, Derek, so that I can give you a wrench? Hold on. Yep. And is uh, Tommy every day I'm hustling? No. Marrakesh, NASCAR man, T Picker. Oh, there you are. Okay. Turtle yeah. Trader. Um. Okay. What are the wrenches for first YouTube auction? <sighs> okay. So, um, Melissa, 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 uh, I got your email about sending you links to my Facebook groups, and um, I have two Facebook groups now. Uh, and I didn't do it. I've been running, 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 and I'm sorry, but I think that um, Rebecca, maybe Rebecca can throw them into the chat for me, and yeah. Melissa, you can grab them. Um, Rebecca, if you don't mind doing that for me, I would really appreciate it. Uh, is that me? That's all me. That's what? Oh, it's me. Oh, it's you. Okay. Okay, so I'll share them. Oh, my great finds. Is, does she have a wrench? Do you have a wrench, yes, T? Yes, yeah, she does. She does? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So 22 people, 23 people. People are starting to roll in. There yeah. you go. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so getting a little bit more comfortable doing this. It's only been like, what, 20 auctions? Yeah, really. <laughs> it, took me, it took me a while, right, to get... A little bit comfortable you guys it's a lot of work preparing for an auction just so that you know that um she got to um my great finds she got to experience it last week and she had hers she was like oh my gosh it's so much work to have an auction it, it yeah, is yeah, so true. it is to prepare everything derek you're smart you've got everything prepared way ahead of time for your auction tomorrow night with Dwayne. so because yeah. i saw i saw your packages but um yeah, between running two eBay stores and buying mini storages and doing these auctions and and the house and everything else, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So, I opened up a new Facebook page, you guys. It's sort of like a um, and Melissa's putting them up on the chat. It's um, like a wholesale bulk selling and buying. Uh, kind of like an auction, but not really an auction, but you can make offers to people that um, post things on the page. Uh, there's 
um, a member. It's Clayton. Is he in the chat? He's yeah, uh, Clayton's in the chat. Yes. Yeah, he's he's uh, selling things like crazy, making deals with people. He's really utilizing the page uh, the way it should be utilized, which is great. I've I've only posted two lots on there just because it's just one more thing to do. It's just been so crazy um, to do stuff. So. Right. Yeah, so that's that page. And then the other page is uh, the storage unit buyers page. Uh, it's a fun page. People just post what they found and pictures and they will ask opinions, you know, do you think I should buy this? And it's mostly all storage unit buyers. So if anybody's interested in buying a storage unit, join that page and you can really see what it's like to um, you know, experience that whole I mean there's a lot of YouTube videos that show it too um, but it's 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 a good page you know it kind of shows the whole background uh, yeah Clayton said it was an amazing idea thank you Clayton yeah I wanna I'm gonna start utilize utilizing it a little bit more myself like I started I haven't been able to yet um, at the time. Um, is that what is that um the nerves are is that your YouTube in the background? There's no, that, that's Miss Dean. That's Dina and uh, oh. Kevin. Hi, Dina. <laughs> I didn't know if that was your YouTube. So, um, let's see. Carol, uh-oh. Carol, just stopping by to say hello. I'm not making any purchases tonight because I'm on a sourcing freeze. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carol, you're on vacation. You're not even supposed to. Oh, and Debbie does sales. Debbie, I hope you're feeling better. Um, I, I looked for you. I went on a couple of live chats today during the day, popped in, popped in and out, and I didn't see you, so I was concerned. I wanted to send you a note and say, hey, that um, I was thinking about you. And Melissa, yes, thank you, Melissa. To be eligible to bid, please send an email to Donna with the YouTube name, real name, shipping address, and PayPal address. Um, and please, guys, if you're going to be using someone else's PayPal address, like your wife's PayPal address or your girlfriend's or your boyfriend's, please make a notation on that. And also, I ship, um, I, I, I ship usually what the PayPal address has. So try to make sure that your PayPal address is the same as your ship to address. If not, send me a note saying that the ship to address is different because that's you have a whole new kind of appreciation for eBay and eBay fees when you start to do this sort of thing uh, separately on your own, doing the invoicing and the shipping and figuring all that out. It's uh, it's a lot. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got 20, 28 people. Donna, if I win anything, I'll hit you up on Facebook chat. Does that work? Yes, Clayton. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely. Um, okay, so I guess, uh, Derek, why don't you share some things? Why don't you tell us what's going on with you this week? I know, tell them about your big auction tomorrow night with Dwayne and uh, Mothership yeah. Products. Well, as of course, most of you know, it's from Man 3245. Um, I have my own uh channel, uh, we race on Friday nights, I do an auction on Monday nights, and uh, tomorrow night, I am a special guest on. Mothership Products, Dwayne and his wife, Heather, um, they do an auction on Saturday nights, and I'm the special guest, and I have a, a lot of amazing items. So if you're not subscribed to Mothership Products or to me, please uh, link in, so send, send a sub so you guys can see that, what's going on for tomorrow night, because I have uh, over 10, uh, 10 uh, lots that are going to be absolutely crazy. So... Yeah, very different than what I have tonight. Um, he has more things like, I think, boy things. Well, I have boy things too, but <laughs> Derek guess, does like boy I things. I guess stuff that you don't even know about that I have. He's, yeah, and he knows about, just so that you guys know also, he knows about everything that I sell that I don't even know about. He'll say to me, oh, that's... Da, 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 da. It's uh, pretty amazing. And uh, you know what? Also, you guys, do each other a favor. And if you're not subscribed, go go through the chat and just everybody support each other and subscribe to each other. Some people don't have content on their YouTube channels, but you know what? It's okay. Go, go ahead and subscribe to them anyways because they may decide six months from now or a year from now that they do want to put some stuff up on 
on um, on YouTube, and you're just going to give them that little extra shove and push to get up there to that magical 1,000 subscribers, which I'm I'm really close to. Uh, I don't know what happens when that happens. I know I'm going to give away a lot of 100 ties when I reach 1,000 subscribers. Um, maybe somebody will deliver balloons or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that seems to be the... Uh, what right. everybody shoots for right so um, what we'll do what we'll do now guys is um we will talk about what the rules and regulations are of the auction and um everybody needs to be on live chat not top chat so you guys can see what's going on um very 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 important that communication is a plus a plus with everything that goes on when I state that it is sold, it is on my chin on my screen. Whatever it says is sold. No, no drama, nothing. If you were having problems, we will ask you not not to bid. End of story on that. Two, um, you need to get the information to Donatella within 24 hours. In the email, she is. Everybody is putting her email up, so you do not have any problems with her getting that information. As soon as she gets that, she has 24 to 48 hours to get you an invoice, and once she gets that and paid, it will go out as quick as it possibly can. If you have any problems or anything, please, communication. That's all we ask. is very, very, very important, and don't be... If we see any bad comments in here, we have amazing mods. Uh, I know there might be a couple of trolls that try to come in, but we're not going to play with that. Final word is my say. Um, I am the auctioneer for the night. Donatella will put the stuff up. She will set us where it starts at. And as soon as I put start, the bidding starts. That's it, guys. That is the rules. Okay, and uh, I just I just want to add to that also that if you do buy something from me um, at auction, and for any reason at all, life happens, you guys. I totally get it. Life happens, and my truck broke down last week, and it was very expensive to fix. So, um, if you do buy something from me and you can't pay for it, and you want to cancel it, no sweat. It can go up on the next auction. So, so just reach out to me and say, I want to cancel the order. And the other thing I want to say is that two orders, two orders this week, two, uh, it was one was for pins. Um, uh, one of the girls, uh, one of the ladies, Val, Texas Val, I think it was, I don't know if she's going to be in the chat. She should, she should have gotten them. I put her pins in an area that not my shipping stuff goes to and I didn't ship them out for like five, six days. And she texted me and she's like, uh, I haven't gotten my pins. And I was like, oh my God, the pins. So I found them and I shipped them out. And also there was another toy box that I thought was going to someone else that hadn't paid. And so Derek, did you just switch over to full screen? Or did we lose Derek? Looks like we lost Derek. Yeah, we did. I was gonna say, how did he switch over to full screen? If I'm on, if I'm on here, um, let's see. He'll probably come back unless he has power failure, and then we'll have to invite someone else to come in and help me with the auction. He's. Uh, we'll give him a few minutes and see if he comes back. Means he's dropped off the chat. Yeah, he has. He is um, and offline. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Derek's device is in. Okay, let's see. There you are. Yeah, I hit what mute happened? and it actually hit Leaf Studio. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was already replacing you just so that you know. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm well, like, I've got, I've got, that's uh, anyway, so. I mean that. I mean that just, just jokingly. I was like, uh oh, I hope you didn't have power failure because T just wrote that T's uh, power's out in New York. So. Yeah. I don't know if you had power failure or not. I'm like, I can't do this by myself. Someone's gonna have to step up if he doesn't come back. Hello, Francesca. Um, thank you for coming in. And Joy, thank you for the inspirational. Joy has a great uh, YouTube channel, you guys. I listened to her for a few minutes tonight while I was getting ready. She's got this really positive, nice attitude. And I saw her go up live and I checked in for just a few minutes. So yeah, thank you. And Melissa Cape is here, my neighbor from Boston. 
Yep. And yeah, Chris the Goose, thank you for coming in. Okay, we get a nice little crowd here. Um, 28 people, and I have a lot of different um, walks tonight. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna start with like what's right here. With all right, why don't you why don't you highlight yourself? And, okay. And okay. Yeah. Hey, Cliff. Thank you for coming in. I hear Cliff. Uh, I saw Cliff post in one of the uh, chats that he's thinking about buying a mini storage, and he blames me. It's okay, Cliff. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's it's all good. Okay. So uh, the first lot that I am going to show you guys. Yeah, sounded like an accident. <laughs> okay, um, it is a lot of Calvin and Hobbes. Um, Joe, do you know what it? Comic books, I guess. And um, I'll have to count and see how many are in it. And they're all in very good condition. Yeah. And uh, we can start the bidding off on this at um, $25. 25. 25 shipped, you guys. 25 shipped. So um, there you go. So there's that title. And there's a treasure everywhere, number two. It's a magical world, number three. And this one here has some sort of like special, um, I don't know, star picks. It was a different one. So that's three. This one is number four. Star City Picker, they are not graphic novels. Those are Calvin and Hobbes comics. And were taken all from the fall from the um, newspaper. This is number five. This one is number six. This one is number seven. This one is number eight. Number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, and number 15. Calvin and Hobbes were not considered graphic novels. They were just um, just uh, regular regular from the comic books. They just made books out of them, but they're not considered graphic novels. So, uh, yeah. Chris Goose, no, I did not. Um, the uh, I gave them most of the prices on them. So, yep. They're actually they're just from comic books. They're from the uh, newspapers that they had on Sundays. And all he did was just recopulation. Exactly, James. There you go. So we're starting out at $25. You get all these books. The $25 ship, guys. $25. Anybody interested in $25? Great for a collector, but definitely great for a reseller. Okay. I currently have these up in my group. I think I listed them for uh, maybe 50 Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. Anybody gonna start us off at twenty-five dollars? Anybody's gonna start us off at twenty-five dollars on all these books that is shipped? Yeah. And if we don't, if we don't um, have any interest in them, we can pass on and because these are yeah. already listed and move yeah. on to something else. See if we get a, if we do get a start if we do get a bid within two minutes, not two minutes. We get a forty-five second clock, guys, and then if it drops down, we don't get a bid. It gets passed on. So who's going to give us a bit of $25 shipped, guys? Who's going to give us $25, $25, $25? Anybody have $25? Let me go for $25. $25, anybody interested in these Calvin and Hobbes? Great books. Great little book to, have to go through. The comics are great. I used to love Calvin and Hobbes. I used to love drawing Calvin and Hobbes. I get Calvin and Hobbes at $25. Who's going to give me $27? I get $25. Who's going to give me $27? I got twenty five dollars from Carol Strudon. Please, who's gonna give me twenty seven? <laughs> that's okay, Mr. W. <laughs> twenty five. Who's gonna give me twenty seven? Uh, Carol bid on these. She's not supposed to be bidding. <laughs> twenty five. Who's gonna give me twenty seven? 
I got 25. Who's going to give me 27? Carol yeah. Cedrone at 25. Who's going to give me 27? Carol, you definitely will double your money if you put these on. Um, maybe even triple your money if you put these on. Um, They're average yeah. between eight to fifteen dollars online right now. Is that what somebody each said? Book, each book, yeah, each book. Yeah, each book. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. So, and I, I have a whole other case of them too. So I get twenty-five. Who's going to give me twenty-seven? Twenty-five. Really? Twenty-seven. They're, they're really easy to uh, post, you guys, because they have barcodes. So. Yeah. 25 was going to be 27. Scan 20. the barcode and it's done. Yeah. I got 25 going once to Carol Chadron. Who's going to be 27? 25 was going to be 27. 25 was going to be 27. 25 was going to be 27. Yeah, going twice to Carol Chadron for 27. Going twice. <laughs> Do I get 25? Who's going to give me 27? I have to get 25. Who's going to give me 27? 25 once to Carol to drone. 25 twice. Third and final time for Carol. And we are sold, sold, sold for 25. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris. The goose came in a little too late, buddy. The soul was already on the board. And Carol Cedrone $25 for the win. Chris, that's okay. I have more. I'll I'll bring some out my next auction. I have like a whole other case more of these. So um you can Carol, I, I'm so glad that you got these because cool. you're such a great customer. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So yeah, so those are that. I mean, the next lot I'm gonna do is a lot of um I call it a winter box, winter clothes, since winter's coming. Okay. okay? Yep. So um First item is this kind of Daniel Boone hat. It's uh, Daniel, Boone. Daniel Boone wore, wore uh, raccoon feather hat. That's a Russian hat. And what is it? That's a Russian winter hat. No, it's not. Is it? Yes. Oh, and it's got oh oh oh, and it's got these this thing I guess to go. Okay. So this, <laughs> yes, it's a it's a Russian winter hat. Yes. That's what they're called. They, they, even back in the 50s, they wore those. Okay. Well, it is a... Elmer, yeah. Turtle Trader said Elmer Fudd hat. <laughs> Elmer Fudd hat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's it's a Columbia. Yeah. And it's new. And it's in excellent condition. And it feels like uh, microfiber. Microfiber and fur. Um, so... Huh? So, you like well, it? It's a uh, James. It's uh, it's men. That hat can be men's or women's. It can be either raw. Yeah, it can be men's or women's. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to start this box off at twenty five dollars. You guys. Um, for my Janae, I just put a post in my thing. So the hat is the first one. Then there's the furry. Um, it's a furry vest. It's an XOXO, which is kind of like a teenage brand. So there's that. There's this graphic, which is really awesome. Um, what does that say on it? The art. The art. Yep. The art. And it is a 2XL. Here's the name. Oops, sorry. Right there. Okay. Um, I don't know what the name is, but you can tell it's re it's really well made. I did find a little hole. It's it's uh, it's very heavy, you guys. It's a very heavy jacket. Um, it's called Art of Life. Okay. It's all embroidered on, and like I said, there's a little hole. I can't find it. That's how little it is. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. So it basically looks like. Does it look like the pocket? No. So it's right there. There's the hole. Maybe like a little cigarette hole? No, it's not a cigarette hole. Sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it totally can be repaired, but it's uh, it's a really beautiful jacket. Okay, so there's that jacket, $25. There is this. Um, this is, I think, official like army wear. Let me see the. Let me see the. Yes, that is that is official uh, GI. That is GI um, issue. Yep, that is what that is part of the winter wear that is underneath. Wear that underneath. Yep, 
Yeah. And it's a size 40. Okay. It's a size that's 40. another reason why you know it's it's a it's a uh, government issue. It's it doesn't say meet small, medium, or large, it's by size. Okay, so you know everything about everything. It's really <laughs> you do, you know everything about everything. Yeah, G.I. Joe, Francesca. And it's an excellent condition, you guys. It's beautiful. It's the, it's, you know, really, really nice. The padded apples. And then I have this. Um, this is a Calvin Klein, mm -hmm. a woman down. It's down. You see. See if it says down. Feels like down. Yeah, clean marine. Yeah, it's it. What it what it is? It's GI. It's government issue. And the Marines wore it. Army wore it. They all had different. So. No, it says one hundred percent cotton. We're starting this at twenty five dollars, James, for the whole box. Calvin Klein jacket. Mm -hmm. Excellent condition. Don't talk in front of the in front of the clothing. We can't right. hear you. Sorry, Calvin Klein jacket, excellent condition, and it is a size medium, and it's in great condition. And these are a pair of Banana Republic, size 33, 34, button fly, mm -hmm. corduroy. These are corduroy. Right. But corduroy's coming back. Quilted interior. Uh, the Calvin Klein jacket has a quilted interior. Yes, Clayton. Are you helping me out with what, what I'm missing? Or are you asking? He's so funny. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a question, so he's probably saying quilted interior. Clayton's awesome. I'm yeah. going to have Clayton on my show one day. Okay, and then I have this mohair shawl. Okay. That's the brand name on it. It's just a beautiful. It's too big to be a scarf. It's too. It's too big to be a scarf. It's too small to be a blanket. So I think it's it's kind of like a, a shawl. So there's that. And then there's this um, Maverick hoodie that I threw in there. Do this? It's Kevin Harvick. He's a race car driver. It's Kevin Harvick who took over for Dale Earnhardt Senior. Okay, so. That is one, and then the mohair kind of blanket, two, jacket, the jacket is three, yep. the army issue sweater is four, the banana republic pants, you probably will make your money back just by selling these pants. Did I say four or five? Five, that's number five. Five, this is six? That's five. That's five. Okay. This is six. The yep. art. Yep. The art jacket. The vest is seven. Mm hmm Table knit in the front. We're starting off at 25. Who's going to give me 25? We're starting at 25. And the no hat. Shipping included, guys. $25. Who's going to give us 25? 25, 25, 25, 25. Who's going to give us 25? 25, 25, 25. Who's going to give us $25 on this winter outfit set? Hi, Kathy. Kathy. I, got I got Melissa Cape at 25. Who's going to give me 27? I got 25. Who's going to give me 27? I got 25. Who's going to give me 27? Melissa Cape, of course, is going to probably use some of that, most of that stuff for up here, up north. Yeah, yeah. she's going to need it like next week. <laughs> yeah, 25. Who's going to give me 27? It's already getting cold. Philadelphia <laughs> jacket. No. No Philadelphia jacket. No. There was a Kevin. There was a Kevin Harvick sweatshirt. There was a Calvin Klein jacket. Calvin Klein jacket. Yep. And there was that art. That art jacket. That. Yeah. Whatever that art jacket was. It, it's, it's a. Really it's, nice. a it's a. It's a zipper up sweatshirt. Yeah. Melissa zipper came up. Twenty five. Hoodie. Yeah, hoodie. Hoodie. Yeah. Twenty five. Who's going to be twenty seven? Twenty five. Who's going to be twenty seven? I got Melissa Cape at $25. Who's going to give me $27? 25 Who's going to give me $27? I got Melissa Cape at $25. Who's going to give me $27? $25. I got James Cisco at $27. Who's going to give me $29? $27. Who's going to give me $29? I got $27. Who's going to give me $29? $29. Who's going to give me $29? I got $27. Who's going to give me $29? 
We got James Cisco at 27. Who's going to be 29? Got a really bad slogan. Oh, okay, it's Chris. I got Melissa Cape at 29. Who's going to be 31? 29. Who's going to be 31? We go by third. By go by twos, everyone. Just so you know. I got 29. Who's going to be 31? 29. Who's going to be 31? Ricky. I've got 29 dollars. Who's going to be 31? <laughs> Uh, cool, I love doing Mad Libs. Mad Libs are fun. So, 29, who's going to give me 31? $29, who's going to give me 31? I got $29 from Melissa Cape, who's going to give me 31? $29, I got 29, who's going to give me 31? 29 from Melissa Cape, going once. I got 29, who's going to give me 31? 29, who's going to give me 31? I got James Cisco at 31. I got 31 who's going to be 33. 30, 31 who's going to be 33. I got 31 who's going to be 33. You don't remember her, Janae? 29 who's going to be 33. What the? 31 who's going to be 33. 31 who's going to be 33. I got James Cisco at 31. Who's going to be 33? 31 who's going to be 33. Going once to James Cisco at 31. Who's going to be 33? I got 31. Who's going to be 33? I got James Cisco at 31. Who's going to be 33? I got 31 going twice. Who's going to be 33? <laughs> Kimmy got lucky there. Yeah. Help you all. So I got 31. Who's going to be 33? I got 31. Who's going to be 33? I got 31 for James Cisco. Thir going third and final time. Who's going to give me 33? 31 going once. 31 going twice. We are sold to $31 to James Cisco. Congratulations, James. You sold Thank you, James. 31, Donna. Thank you. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How many people does it show in the chat? I'm not Nine. seeing any. Yeah, you can. I can't see it. I don't have it up on the regular screen. I just have the. Oh chat yeah. The oh yeah. It says 29, I think. Okay. Right. There'll be more right. people coming so, in. Um. Let's see. Davidson Mott. Oops. Just dropped it. Okay. 29. Rebecca says. Okay. 29, uh, yeah, 27. Right, we, yeah. Okay, so the first time. Right, what do we got next? Hmm? What do we got Harley, coming up next? Harley Davidson. Oh, Harley Davidson lot, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are for the bike. That's a display case of what's for the bikes. Yep, it's a display case for the bikes. Um, yep, yep. There it is. And yeah, it for the bikes. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, you guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Here is a bag of the mini bikes. <clears throat> but I just want to tell you that some of them mm -hmm. are missing parts. Okay. So. Some of them are complete. I mean, it's going to be a project. Like that one's missing a wheel. This one, I think the handlebars are inside. Here's here's a handlebar. So it's something um, that someone's going to want to buy and work on this. If you yeah, want to try all, it, all the all pieces, problem. all the yeah. pieces are inside here, or most of the pieces. But I'm not going to put them together. So right, right. All right. So here's here's the bag of, of the motorcycles that I have left. Okay. Um, I I've, I've got some big ones still left on in my eBay store. So it's so it's the motorcycles. It's this stand. You could probably sell just this stand, um, on eBay. So I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start this lot off at thirty dollars. Candace, hi Candace. Yeah, winter lot. How come Turtle Trader is saying winter lot? 
Did he miss bidding oh, on it? Because no, yeah, he was trying to figure out how he was going to call it. Like, it's, what kind of lot was it? Yeah. Uh, I'll have a lot more winter lots, Mr. Turtle Trader. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that. Then, then I have this Harley Davidson backwards. You're talking in front of it again. Harley Davidson album. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, all the different. Yep, the different books. Yep, for each different bike. Yep. It's got those pages, so that's part of the law. Okay. And then history of motorcycles. Yep. Is this beauty back up for auction? Still haven't listed him on. I think Carol's drone, Carol drone at 30. Who's going to give me 32? 30. Who's going to give me 32? Okay. 30, 32. Derek, since we have such a lag, maybe we should, um, whoever's bidding, um, if the people in the chat, if you can just write out if you're not going to be bidding on it, maybe. Right. Um, that will help us out to see, if, you know, just write out. Right. Carol's at 30. Oh, Carol, Carol's at 30. Who's going to give me 32? Carol's at 30. Who's going to give me 32? I've got Carol at 30. Who's going to give me 32? These go with the motorcycles. They're yep. the little stands. I got Carol Carol Cedrone at 30. Who's going to give me 32? This is, guess, it's a spur. Yeah. Um, but they're, um, you coasters. know, uh, coasters. Yeah. That's cute, right? I got 30. Who's going to, 32 from Candace, Candace Cox. Who's going to give me 34? I got 32. Who's going to give me 34? 32 is going to give me 34. Two Harley Davidson belts. Right. Vintage. 32 one. is going to give me 34. There's the belt buckle, and they actually say Harley Davidson. I got $32 oh. in Kansas Cox. Who's going to give me 34? These are awesome, you guys. These are so awesome. They're vintage, all leather Harley Davidson belts. So truly, like for a collector, I got thirty-four. I got MT Picker at thirty-six. These are Candace, awesome. If you're gonna go thirty-eight, if you got, if you're interested, I got MT Picker at thirty-six. Who's gonna give me thirty-eight? The um, the buckles are worn, but I think that's what makes them like awesome because they're vintage. If they were shiny and brand new, then they wouldn't be. They wouldn't be vintage. Who's gonna be forty-two? If you're interested, I already got four. Candace Cox at 40. I need 42. Carol Cedrone at 42. Who's going to give me 44? 42. Who's going to give me 44? Yeah, 42. Who's going to give me 44? That's a cool knife. 42. Who's going to give me 44? Hopefully, you can close that now. <laughs> oh, my husband's here. <laughs> <laughs> 42 is going to give me 44. He does all the man stuff for me. <laughs> this is beautiful, 44, you guys. 44. Harley Davidson. I got, I got Carol Cedrone at 42. Who's going to give me 44? I think this is Franklin Mint. It, it could be either Franklin Mint or Danbury Mint. I, I, think it's, I think it's Franklin Mint. And how did you know I couldn't close it? <laughs> because I had a funny feeling. You, you, there's a little button you squeeze right there. What right button? There. That, yeah, that little, that little metal piece. This little button here. No, no, the little metal piece in the little, the groove in the groove, right there. See that 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 pushes in. Ooh, Ooh you just taught me something. Okay. I, I got forty six from Melissa Cape. Who's gonna give me forty eight? This is beautiful, you guys. I got forty six. Who's gonna give me forty eight? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show everything again. So yeah, right. I got then, I got Sarah Cedrone at 48. Who's gonna give me 50? You guys, I have 50. this, but it's broken. Um, yeah. but it's really heavy and it's metal, and you totally can. Anyway, so you can totally glue it back together. Yeah. But it's heavy, heavy. Gosh, I don't know. Probably pewter. I don't, Probably pewter. Probably pewter, right? Because I was yeah. going to say, there's metal's not this heavy. 
No, if, if, so, if, it's pewter, if it broke like that, usually Harley Davidson usually use pewter on their top of their on pieces like that. I got forty eight from Carol Cedrone. Who's gonna give me fifty? I don't know. Oh, it says um precision pocket watches, Franklin Mint. Franklin Mint, okay. I bet you if you contacted them, if they still made them, they probably yeah, would they stand do. behind this. Yeah, they're a pretty they do, they're a pretty but, reputable company. Yeah. It's yeah. just if they if it's out of if it's out of print then they will can't Right, they can't do anything. Well, but for the collector, you, you can yeah. Anyways, put it you together. Have, you have to use Miller, you have to use Millipod James to make to, to meld it in together and, and do a little work to it, but you can get it back together. I have oh. in stocks at fifty. Once we so hit about, 50, 50 guys, we go buy fives. So I need two part epoxy. Two part epoxy. Would that hold it together? That's that's what Millipod is. It's it's a oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you guys, so you get the little broken eagle, Harley yeah. Davidson. I'm sorry, it's broken. Okay. Um, you get the two beautiful vintage belts that read Harley Davidson across, cut out. They got 55. Um, Harold Cedrone. Who's getting me 60? Yeah. This this is awesome. MT is out. Yeah. MT is 55. I need 55. I'm gonna need 60. License plate. 55, I'm going to need 60. The history of motorcycles. 55, I'm going to need 60. Oh, I forgot to show you this. You get all of this, too. Oops, I forgot. Bandanas. Sorry, guys. All okay. bandanas. Yeah, a bunch of bandanas. All Harley Davidson ones. Sorry, I forgot to show this part of it. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so going to give me 60. One. Two. Three, four. <laughs> okay, gee, all right, Paul. <laughs> That's so funny. Fifty-five. Who's gonna give me sixty? Five. Fifty-five. Who's gonna give me sixty? Six. I forgot to show these. I got 55. Who's going to give me 60? Seven. I got just me, Kathy, at 60. Who's going to give me 65? 60. Who's going to give me 65? Eight. I don't know, you guys. It's either eight or it's it's either eight. It's either nine or ten. I lost count. So it's either nine or ten. Sorry. I got 50. Who's going to give me 65? I got 60. Who's going to give me 65? Okay, so the bandanas, the yep. album, okay. the Harley Davidson tractor trailer. Yeah. And I've said it before. I sold this on, I sold this on eBay for fifty dollars, and then the guy asked to cancel the order um, before he paid for it, and I just never relisted it. So this okay. alone. Sixty-five. Who's going to give me seventy? This alone sold for sixty. You guys. I got 65. Who's going to give me 70? 65. Who's going to give me 70? All the motorcycles. Mm -hmm. 65. Give me 70. You can fix those. It's not that complicated to fix. Yeah, you can put them up on just as a lot. Somebody will buy them. The motorcycle stands. Yep. 65. Who's going to give me 70? Harley Davidson shelves. Yeah. It's in good condition. Yeah. I get just me, Kathy, at 70. Who's going to give me 75? I get 70. Who's going to give me 75? Beautiful knife. The knife now lets you know how to open and close now. 70. Okay. Who's going to give me 75? Hold on. Give me a minute. 70. Who's going to give me 75? Voila. Yep. 70. Who's going to give me 75? Yep. The hydro Thank you. Yep. Hydro. 75, who's going to give me 80? I this guess is beautiful. Who's going to give me 80? It's gorgeous. It's brand new. What brand is the, oh, the brand is the knife. It's, uh. Like it's right here. Yeah. Hold on, I got to put my glasses on. I'll tell you. It is Franklin Mint. Franklin Mint. So 75, Mint. who's going to give me 80? 75, who's going to give me 80? And I love this. I got just me, Kathy, at 80. Who's going to give me 85? This is awesome. 80. Who's going to give me 85? This is so unique. 
Very unique. Very beautiful. 85, 80. Who's going to give me 85? I've got 80. Who's going to give me 85? I've got $80 from Just Me Kathy. Who's going to give me 85 I bet those belts are worth a lot. Yep. I bet the belts are worth a lot. I didn't look them up. I got Carol's for Jordan at 85 Who's going to give me 90 85 going to give me 90 Kathy, you need to go to 90 if you're interested. We've got two people bidding, so we got Carol Carol Drone at 85 Who's going to give me 90 85, who's going to give me 90? 85, who's going to give me 90? You guys know Harley Davidson people? It's like, they just, they love anything Harley Davidson. They 85, who's going to give me 90? They don't squabble. They're a unique breed. Honestly, I've sold Harley Davidson stuff. Harley Davidson, I love Harley Davidson people. I got just me, Kathy, at 90. Who's going to give me 95? 90, who's going to give me 95? All right. 90, who's going to give me 95? 90, who's going to give me 95? This is a beautiful tabletop. A table. Um. I got Carol to join at 95. Who's going to hit the 100 mark? Let's hit the, let's hit the decade. Who's going to hit the decade today? Ben Franklin. Who's gonna who's gonna break that? Who's gonna break the century mark? Let's go. Let's see. James says I sell a ton of Harley stuff, clothing especially sells quickly and for a good price. James, That's I got with this lot of Harley Davidson stuff. I got Harley Davidson um, t-shirts, yep. and I posted them on. I didn't post any of this stuff on um, eBay just because mm -hmm. I have so much stuff, which is the reason why I do the I've auction. Got, I've got a hundred. Now that we're at a hundred, go by tens, everyone. So a hundred and ten, I'm looking for. I so I, give me 110. So James, I posted vintage Harley Davidson t-shirts with holes in them, faded, <laughs> washed a thousand times for like thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars. Like people didn't, who's gonna give me 110? Yeah. Didn't even like best offer me. They just saw the t-shirts and just from all different places with the guy with this guy with all yeah. this Harley stuff that he visited. And they all had different names in the back of the t-shirts. They just bought them. Just bought them. I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got Carol Cedrone at 110. Who's going to give me 120? Going once to Carol Cedrone at 110. Who's going to give me 120? I got 110. Who's going to give me 120? Going twice to Carol Cedrone at 110. <laughs> Destiny wants you to be careful with that knife. Going twice at 110. I got third and final time, and you're going to be hit me at 120. We got Carol Sedron at 110 going once. 110 going twice. We are sold with Carol Sedron at $110. Congratulations. Thank you, Carol. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for to Kathy for bidding and everybody else that was bidding. Thank you so much. If I find any other Harley Davidson stuff um, while I'm r rummaging through getting lots together, I'll throw it in the box. I probably won't send it out until like Monday, so I'll have to uh, take the weekend off. Sold, Harley Davidson sold. Um, so you guys, I have an unusual lot. How many people are in the chat? 33. We lost some people. I was going to wait until some people came in. Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this. Here. Carol says she's going out for drinks on the beach now, so she is out now. So I'm out, Carol. Thank you, sweetheart. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, here is 18 pounds of vintage, you guys.
18 pounds of vintage. I'll show you what I put in there. So there are. Where are we counting this out at? Um, we can start this at $25. Shipped. Okay. Okay. So, um, Jordash, you guys. Jordash with holes. Jordash jeans. Jordash. <laughs> jeans. <laughs> <laughs> right? Jordash jeans. And look at the 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 things are, are broken because um yeah. you know how it pulled them yeah. up <laughs> so the things Snap are broken them. Yeah. doesn't matter you guys vintage clothes sell so so well oops mm -hmm. hold on what's the size what's the size on those uh kathy wants to know okay kathy it says size eight twenty six eight twenty six Hey, Pat D's is in the house. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so there's one pair. There's two pair. Jordash jeans, you guys. Vintage clothing. I sold a vintage jacket. This is size 10, 27. So short, short people. But this is 10. I mean, this can't be a ladies 10, can it? 10, 27. Yeah. These are tiny. 27 is a light. Oh, size ten. Size ten. These are these are size tiny. Ten. Yeah. And then twenty seven and then twenty seven long. So they wouldn't be kids. Yep. So I don't know. You'll have to do measurements, but uh the important thing is is they're Jordash. So you're gonna get three pairs of Jordash, and these are corduroy Jordash. Corduroy, yep. Corduroy. Corduroy Jordash. Oh, <laughs> yeah, great. size 10 women's 27 inseam. Yeah. Size, so these are size 26 and length is long. <laughs> That's what they give you. Size long. Jordash. So three pairs of Jordash pants. Vintage. And then ready? The Village People album. Young man. <laughs> feel that okay, so you get the album. And then this is making its debut in a vintage box. We tried to sell this, but it didn't sell. So I put it in there. Yep. This beautiful demi tasse set. Yep. Okay. Right. That's in there. Camera. Yep. This will sell the box. Ah, uh, Polaroid. Yep. It's on 600. Yeah. Look it up, you guys. Okay. Does it have film in it still or no? How many pieces are in there? I didn't count them. Um, I just I did just beat Kathy at 25. I just did um 18 pounds. I didn't count the pieces, but I'll count them when I put them back in. Um. So yeah, this awesome. So, yep. you know, again, like theater companies, they'll buy something like this because yep. it's got the original case. Look at how it's in perfect condition. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, there is a following for old staplers. You can look it up, especially this swing line. They yep. buy them. So there's an old stapler in the in the box. I get just me, Kathy, at not 29. I get MT Picker at 31. Who's going to give me 33? So I found this envelope in one of my mini storage. I didn't like look through it, but there's a reason why these were all saved. I don't know if they're. I um. Look like I can they're all they all look like they're all. This one's this one I can see is peanuts. Yep. So um, this whole thing is peanuts. I wonder yeah. if the day, I wonder if it's the day Charles Schultz died. What is that? I wonder if it's the day that Charles Schultz died. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea, but this person saved all of these comic strips. So you guys can have a good time. I don't know. Anybody loves paper? This is your. This is yours. <laughs> I, get, I get empty picker at 31. Who's going to be 33? This is yours. Who's going who's gonna to rock the Jordache jeans this week? This, this right? Week? Okay. This is a, and I tested it. It works perfectly. A vintage Panasonic 
Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. And it works perfectly. Probably works better than the ones that they sell today. And I always say that. It. Yep. It's the, it, the, the new stuff is crap. And it's the all old plastic. Stuff, Those are all metal. This yeah. is all metal. But so like the blades in there are probably all metal. Like yeah. today's are probably all plastic, right? Right. Okay, so that's in there. And then these are absolutely beautiful. I don't know what they are. I thought they were under um, picks, but they're too pointy and too sharp to be that. So they are, uh, they're beautiful. They're real mother of pearl. Okay. And here the shell. They're, they've got a beautiful design, the tips of them. And then, um, oh, th oh, thanks for coming back, Kathy. Um, I, I'll, I'll go through everything in this box when um, I put it back again. You see how sharp they are, Derek? Yeah. See how pointy they are? Yeah, I'm trying but to think what they would be, yeah. I don't know what they would be, but except for the fact that they're pointy, I, I don't know. The, I don't know. I wouldn't even know how to look them up. They are I wonder really if they're oyster shop, like they're for oysters, to scrape the oyster. I don't to know. Pull to pull the oyster out of the shell. I yeah. mean, I can't, I can't yeah. imagine putting this in your mouth. No, you don't put them in your mouth. You just you just scrape to clean them out. These are so sharp. Can you see how pointy yeah. and sharp? Yeah. No, they're not. They're not chisels. They're not chisels. For pickles? For no, I don't think they're for pickles, Michelle. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have. Uh, no. So, Only sharp they, lead they, pencils, they, wouldn't be, they wouldn't be mother of pearl. That's right. what that's why I was saying mother of pearl. They're fancy. Oysters. Yeah. See, even James even said it for shucking oysters. Mother of pearl oysters. Get it? It it, it works and coincides. Okay. Yeah. Well, whatever yeah. they are, they're beautiful. They're really, right. really beautiful, and they're yeah. um they're you can tell that like the bottoms of them. See the little lip they have on yeah. them. They're all carved. Yeah, they're these not nose pickers. <laughs> I get 31 from MT Picker. Who's going to give me 33? Dennis, should I save them? Should I send them to you so you can pick your nose and post it on, oh, <laughs> on no. YouTube? <laughs> okay, so that's in there. Yeah, here's another mystery thing. I don't know what this is. At first, I thought it was maybe for a sewing machine. On the front of it, it says, if somebody wants to look it up, it says Rotary. That's all it says is R-O-T-A-R-Y, Rotary. 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 I got 31. Who's giving me 33, guys? I got MT Picker at 31. I don't know what this says. I don't think what the heck the thing is. Yeah. No, it, at, the, at first I thought it was for a sewing machine, but it's not. It's no. not for a sewing machine. No, it's not a sewing machine. I know that for sure. It's not for a sewing machine. Rotary. Ro ro rotary. If anybody... Oh, no, Kathy, her Comcast... So Kathy, we'll wait until you you're able to say that you're out when the bidding really you know when the bidding Lisa starts. says like a rotary phone. No. Not for, for a Dremel. A, not for no. A Dremel. No. No, it's no. too old. It's too old for a Dremel. Yeah. I have no idea, you guys. It says rotary on the box. Yeah, I know rotary tools are called Dremel, but that's not. There's nothing there that would work for a Dremel, and that's too old. Yeah, that's not. That's not. I. Right, that's your guess as good as mine. That could be for a sewing machine. That could be for the inset for the sewing machine. You know where the needle goes into. You know how the slide. Oh. I, I don't know what kind of sewing machine would take pieces like this. No, I mean, I sew. Like, this is, so, yeah. like, I, you know, I don't know what, um, I don't know, like, what that would do for a sewing machine. I don't think it's for a sewing machine. Yeah, anyway. 
it's, it's whatever it is it the here it is it's complete and um these little pieces kind of like you know they set in yeah. these little knobs here so you guys can have fun looking at looking it up i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to no it's not a mystery box she's showing you everything it's just it's a vintage box all vintage it stuff it should be a mystery box it should be actually pat d's asked yeah. for a mystery box but you know how i struggle with mystery boxes i want to show it, everything it, in it it's yeah, a yeah. it's a snoopy welch's jar it's welch's uh -huh. jelly Brian yep. Ace and his mechanics. So there's that. Oh, I forgot to put this in the Original and attachment for vintage rotary sewing machine. See? Oh, really? Michelle went and found it, and I said it was a sewing machine. Oh, see? cool. Did you did you see someone um on eBay, Michelle? She said she found it. She found it online. I guess. Yep. See, thank you, Michelle Lathan. Awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome, awesome. Okay, here's a plate holder. Yep. Here is a little, it's vintage, you can tell. I was right at it. I said it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you did say it. Um, this is a little. That's a cool light. Yep. And it works. Yeah, it's a beautiful little night light. And it works. Nice. I tested it. So, me too, um, me too. Yeah, Dennis. Okay. Yeah. I think these plate are for holders. Books. Book holders? You can, books, plates. you can put plates on there too. Books or plates? Or picture frames. Picture frames. Yeah. Cool. Okay, there's that. Um, there's I got 30. I got 31. I got 31. Who's going to give me 33? Another plate holder. I got 31 to. This one's empty brass. Picker. Who's going to give me 33, guys? This is with shipping, so shipping included. Yep. I got 31 from MT Picker. Not Jaguar brochure. A Jaguar. I got Misha Renee at 33. Who's going to give me 35? 33. Who's going to give me 35? XJ6 1980 1984. Cool. Very cool. Nice. Okay. Nice. Jaguar. Michelle, Misha Renee at 33. Who's going to give me 35? Okay, I'm going to start putting everything back. 33. Who's going to give me 35? I got <laughs> Misha Renee at 33. Who's going to give me 35? Yep. Yeah. A special report. 1967. So it must be the bomb of Vietnam, right? A day, time of tragedy. So. Great time. 67. I got me at 33. Who's going to meet the, all those, <laughs> those pickers, oysters, whatever they want to use them for. I got 33 at me Renee. Who's going to give me 35 going once to me Renee. Yep. I got Misha Renee at 33. Who's going to give me 35? Nice little demi toss set, guys. Watch it. You're going to lose that last plate. Pull it back. There you go. Good. Thank job. you. Going once. Go Misha Renee for 33. Who's going to give me 35? Little village people. Willa YMCA, everybody. Woo -hoo. Going twice to Misha Renee for 33. Who's going to give me 35? 33. Who's going to give me 35? The third and final time to Misha Renee. Who's going to give me 35? Little Polaroid camera guys there. Third and final time for Misha Renee at 33. We are going and going, and we are a sold to Misha Renee for $33. Thank you, Misha. Great job there, Misha. Awesome. You got a great.
Okay, so um, I have a belt lock I'm going to show you. So. What is it? Belts. We can't, oh, a belt? Belts. Okay, thank you. You were speaking out into the house. I do invest in the microphone this week. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, this belt lot, there's, I think, 28 belts in it. And I'm going to start the bidding at 30 chipped. So that's like a dollar a belt, basically. Um, this one is a coach. Besides 40. Okay. All right. Um, it has a little bit of spotting. It just needs to be cleaned with a leather cleaner, and it will come out like... Like new. I don't want to go through them all, you guys. They're mostly um, like designer. I think it's going to take too much time. Derek, you can just start the bidding. Um, they I all did. have, yeah, they all have, but there's, I'll show you. I mean, if I showed you each and every one and the name of them, we'd be here all night. So there is the box. You said we have 30. How many How many do we have? 28. There was 27 in here, and then I added one. So there's 28. There's a couple of, like, preppy ones um, that are designer yeah. brand name. There's cowboy ones. Um, they're all in, you know, good condition. There's leather ones. Who's interested in all these belts? Starting at $30, guys. $30 shipped. shipped. Who's going to be interested in all these belts? $30. Who's going to give me $30? $30. Who's going to start us off at $30 for all these belts? There's 27 of them in there. So, great belts, guys. Anybody interested in belts? 27. We got 27 belts for $30 shipped. Who's going to give us $30? $30. Any buckles on the cowboy belts? on the cowboy belts like do you mean like this kind of belt no they're, they're talking about uh, like a uh, uh, actual belt buckle like the no. big uh, rodeo buckles no no like the buckles that that you remove like the leather yeah, the ro the rodeo you buckles, interchange? No. no nothing like that they're all mostly designer they're like um like here's puma yeah um I don't know. This Hi, one Jimmy. is. Have a good night. Um, they're all different. All different kind of like um, designer brand name belts. Like like uh, uh, the Gap and I think Abercrombie. $30, guys. $30 for 27 belts. $30 for 30, 27 belts. Who's going to sign us up? A couple of kids ones. Yep. That's a ninja. Okay, gonna, nobody. Gonna, if, if nobody's, nobody's interested, in bids, we're gonna pass on it, guys. Who's gonna start us off at thirty dollars? Thirty dollars, thirty dollars, thirty dollars. Anybody interested in thirty dollars for this, please? If not, we're gonna pass on it, and then we're gonna go move on to another box, guys. How many are in the chat? What does it say? Um, there's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. 27 and we've been on for an hour right they're all, all belts, belts. they're all belts 27 all belts. belts so if we're not gonna if nobody wants to bid on them we're gonna pass on it guys okay i got the four i got the third 45 second clock started now guys just let me know if anybody's interested for 30 dollars 27 Shit. belts Shipped. Okay. Chris, pass. Nobody. Okay, yeah, nobody's okay. interested. Pass on it, guys. What's fine? That is fine. Okay. Did I take a note in here? I don't think I did. Um. Okay. 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 Okay.
And I'll forget tomorrow. Asia. That's a vintage box. Okay. So uh, the next box is going to be all electronics. Start this box off at um, $30 shipped. And the first item is a Polaroid camera. Yep. $30 shipped, you guys. Assorted electronics. Except for this. This is not electronic. This is a Nikon binocular. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's a NASCAR. NASCAR ones. Yep. There you go. I wonder where that came from. I got an empty picker at thirty dollars. Who's gonna give me? Who's gonna give me thirty-two? We haven't even started. It was thirty. Yeah, ship. Yep. There you go, Rebecca. This is a Optimus Optimus uh, cassette player. That Optimus was made by Radio Shack. That was the that was the Radio Shack brand. Yep. I don't know what this is. Some TV that is a, digital, a digital cable box, so when you can go from anal, from the analog TV to a digital... Uh, oh, didn't we sell one of these in another box? Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. yeah, in another mixed box, I got one of these, because I remember you telling me that. Right. But I just, yeah. I just, yeah, I just took this out of the garage, so yeah. so it was in, in another, it just happened, just another one. I mean, I get a lot of Polaroid cameras, too, because look at two in one night, right? So I get $30 from MT Picture. Just do. Uh, oh, it's an Emerson. It's an Emerson clock radio. Yeah. Cool. DVD player. Philips DVD player. Okay. That's a thirty-five millimeter regular camera. Which they do sell. People still yep. buy them. I know. It's crazy. I don't know why. Vivitar. Yeah. I don't, a I lot mean, of people use film. Collectibles? I don't know. Yeah. So we got thirty dollars from MT Pick. Who's going to be thirty-two? I got thirty dollars. Who's going to be thirty-two? A little boombox. That is a. Who makes that one? Jensen. Jensen. Jensen boombox with a CD player. Cool. So, little boombox. Yeah, thirty. He's going to give me thirty-two. Okay. So yeah. the boombox, the clock radio. Yeah, Pat, cameras. these are thirty-two. Yeah. Who's going to give me thirty-four? I get thirty-two from Pat D's. Who's going to be thirty-four? Polaroid camera. camera. Thirty-two and a DVD player. Phillips DVD player. There you go. 32 from Pat T's, who's going to give me 34? I got MT Picker at 34, who's going to give me 36? 34, who's going to give me 36? Yep. 34, who's going to give me 36? 34, who's going to give me 36? What's that? I got MT Picker at 34, who's going to give me 36? Okay, Melissa, we'll see you in a few minutes. 34, who's going to be 36? And empty picker at 34, who's going to be 36? Thank you, Melissa. Take your 34 time. 34 for empty picker, who's go going once? And 34, who's going to be 36? $34 I have, who's going to be 36? Going twice to empty picker for $34. Who's going to be 36? 34, who's going to be 36? This is shipped, guys. So $34 going once. $34 going twice to MT Picker. Third and final time, we are sold to MT Picker for $34. Congratulations, okay. Matt. $34 to MT Picker. Yep, I got it. 34. Thank you, MT Perka. Thank you so much. I think so. Huh? Yeah, I think uh, I think Kimmy's gonna I think Kimmy's gonna be doing one. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the list now. Yeah, there's only four. Okay, I'm gonna take a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a peek right now. Hold on. But yeah, just get your other box ready to see what else we can 
the okay. wild is one two three this uh liquidation ohio is live mcclinton homestead tommy bernard's live uh we are jerry whitney's live sandy's live pusa studios live oh a lot of people are live like, yeah there's a lot of people that are live tonight yeah. okay that's okay you know, I'm just, I was just wondering, because usually we have like 40 people in the chat. So there's, you right. know, 27. You're also, you're also, but thank you to the 27 that are here. I really appreciate it. Okay, so right. this is a video lot. Video game lot or video lot? Video game lot. Video. Okay. It's a mixed lot. It's a mixed lot. Okay, okay and I'm going to um, start now. Some of these, uh, some of these video games came from my husband's personal collection. So they do work. Um, some were found in mini storages and some were, um, and I'm going to probably feature maybe two boxes tonight and then like maybe two boxes next week. So um, yeah, so this is the first of the, the two that I'm going to feature. So this one is a, a Nintendo 64 with the expansion pack in it. Yep. Okay, do you, yep. Okay. Chris the Goose is at 25. Okay. Yep. I just P I just PM'd them, Lisa C. <laughs> There's your yep, your cables. Yep. Another set of cables. Yep. You have my husband keeps his things. Yep. All zip tied. Yep. Nice and neat. He decided to uh, surrender his collection. Empty pickers at 27. Yep. Nintendo 64 controller. Yep. Uh, Rave, Wave Rider Racer. That's the, the 64 game. Another Nintendo 64 controller. That's yep. not my husband's. He would never no. have it that dirty. <laughs> that came out of one of the storage units, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, yep, that's the rumble pack, the Nintendo rumble pack, rumble pack that goes underneath the controller. Yep. Tetris, Tetrisphere. Yeah, I knew the ceiling run. That's a wee, wee, wee um, steering wheel. That is a aftermarket PlayStation controller. Yep. Hopefully you have the dongle for that. That's another Sony uh, controller. Yep. Hopefully there's another dongle we need for that. Hopefully. Oh, it's all dirty. <laughs> Dirt is free, you guys. <laughs> that didn't come from my husband. <laughs> that came from the mini storage. This one is damaged, but I'll just throw it in anyways. I don't know if somebody can refurbish it, change the cord. I know some people are. Yeah, you can, a lot of people. Yeah, you can do those if you know how to take the controls. I know some people easy. do that kind of stuff with this, with these things. Yeah, they're they're really, they're no PS they stuff. Like, they like to tinker yeah, around with exactly, them. Exactly, James. I said that's why I said hopefully she has the dongles. Yep, that's another. That's an aftermarket. Yep. Another rumble pack. Yep. That is uh, an eight gig, eight eight bit, um, eight, eight megabyte um card. Yeah, memory card, memory card. Another memory card. Another memory card. Yeah, that's a connector for a car. Yeah, it's a connector for the car for um, probably like a DS or something. I don't know. I have to look at the tip on it. Yeah, but um, yeah, it looks like a DS connect. Yeah, it looks like the DS control. Yeah, oh. Nintendo. It says it right on it. I got uh, Janaya at Martinez at thirty. Who's going to give me thirty-two? They get 30, 32. Another Wii steering, steering wheel. Call of Duty PS3, Madden 11. 
Sniper is a good game. I like Sniper. Yep, Black Ops. Okay. This is three. He has three games. Yeah. Another memory card. Yep, Mad Cat's memory card. Yep. Will those memory cards fit in here? No, they're different. No, they're different. Yeah, that's a Mad Cat's one. Yep. yep. There it goes. <laughs> okay, so this whole lot, everything. In no, not in this lot, Anthony. What is Anthony looking for? In the system. Not in this. Not uh, he has a she has a uh, Nintendo sixty four in this lot, Anthony. There is a there is a sixty has a sixty four with the um, yeah the console with the with the pat with the ex expansion pack in it. So. And then um, all these controllers and all of That's this. That's the rumble patch up. Um, that was that console from your husband? Yes or no? Um, Probably not. If he's missing the if he's missing the package in the front. Ricky, was this yours? This Nintendo sixty four. He has two of them. Yeah, so this one's his. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, he probably tested it. Yep. Yeah, it's the controllers. Yep. So I got, let's see, my last bid was $30, $30 from Janai. It was maybe 32 30 it was going to be 32 and we have $30 bid. Who's going to give me 32 That's for the Nintendo 64 and all the other accessories. We have Dennis do it 32 Who's going to give me 34 We got 32 Who's going to give me 34 I got $32. Who's going to give me 34 We have Dennis do it $32. Who's going to give me 34 I need a bath. I got 32. He's going to give me 34. Going once the dentist do it, 32. Who's going to give me 34? 32 is going to give me 34. Thanks for being here with us tonight, you guys, on a Friday night. Appreciate it. Going twice to 32. There's another video game lot. Yes. Yes, he's only going to do one more after this tonight with the video games. Yes. I got Pittsburgh at 34. Who's going to be 36? 34. Who's going to be 36? I got 34. Who's going to be 36? I got 34. Who's going to be 36? I got $34. Who's going to just do a 36? Who's going to be 38? We got 36, who's going to give me 38? Don't forget about 38, who's going to give me 40? We got 38, who's going to give me 40? These are probably expensive. Yeah, those are, those are, those are, um, yeah, they're, they're for a connection for, I want to say Xbox, right? That's the tip, let's see the tip is, yeah, they're aftermarket, I know that for sure, but. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm seeing. I got 38. Who's going to give me 40? Monster Cable. Yeah, exactly, James. But I think yeah. he bought these because it made the, the game, I, if I remember correctly, it made the game work better. Yes, it is. Because it's a, it's better. A big, yes, it's a bigger, it's a bigger, yeah. Um, yeah, stronger I cable. Yeah. I remember when he bought these because he yeah. said that it was like, it, it, there was like less lagging or something. I don't yeah. know. Higher end cables. Yes, James. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, I remember these were pricey when he bought them. Maybe they're not anymore. Yes, James, they carry the video and audio signal much better. Yes. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. That was a long time ago. That was like. Yeah, I get forty. Who's going to give me forty-two? The kids were so little. I mean, that was forty. Who's going to give me forty-two? Ten years ago. 
I got forty dollars from Chris the Goose. Who's gonna give me forty two? Dan the CNC man at forty two is gonna give me forty four. I got forty two is gonna give me forty four. I got 42 is going to be 44. I think I think after this we might probably going to have to go a couple only a couple of more Darwin. Uh, da, da, yeah, not until it seems like everybody is moving to the other station. Uh, yeah. yeah, everything everybody's bouncing. Uh, yeah. 42 is going to be 44. I get the end of CNC man at 42. Who's going to be 44? Going once to Dan the CNC man. Who's going to give me 44? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, hopefully they come to my auction tomorrow night. I got 32. I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? Going twice to Dan the CNC tool man at 44. At 42. Who's going to give me 30, 44? Third and final time to $42 to Dan the CNC Tool Man. Third and final time going once, going twice. We are sold. So, sold for $42 to Dan the CNC Tool Man. Do I have your um, email address, Dan? No, Dan, please send send the information to the Melissa W. Just put it in the chat, please. We greatly thank appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, the next, uh, I'm going to um, I could show the system, but I know Chris. I know Dan. The, the man is good. I know all about. I know Chris. I've we he, he races with us once in a while, so I know. So, so what are we gonna do next, Donna? I'm coming. Yeah. It's a similar box to that one. Another Nintendo. Hey, Another Nintendo 64. Yep. Is that broken? Yeah, that's a crack. That's, cra that's okay. It's cracked right there. That's fine. No, it doesn't do anything with the uh, the system. Let me see. Does it have the uh, it, Let's see. Give me. Let me see the front. Yeah, it's missing the. Um, it's missing the expansion pack in it, guys. So. Okay, maybe, maybe I have a. Here's um, a GameStop one, so it's a knockoff. Yeah. It's it's a it's an aftermarket. That's what you call an aftermarket controller. Yeah. Here's a Sony one. Sony PlayStation. PlayStation. Yep. Sony. Another aftermarket. Yep. Mad cats. Yep. It's missing the pads on the side. Another. Yep, monster cable. Yep, connection. Monster yep. Cable. I don't know. Splitter. Some more uh, AV cables. Yep. Memory cards. Yep. More AV cables. Yep. That's a Sony PlayStation 3 Slim. PlayStation 3 Slim, guys. Yeah. Okay. So there's two game system. Mm -hmm. PlayStation controller. Yep. Yeah. That's an aftermarket PlayStation controller. Hopefully, I'm not finding any of the dongles. That's the battery pack. That's what the cords for. That should be your PS3, if I'm. 
Um, Elizabeth W. Okay. is on Mothership Products tomorrow, and it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep, that is PS3 Power Call. Yes, James. 007. Yep. And that's it, you guys. That's it. I got Thanks, Chris. Chris at 40. Yeah. Um, no, you had it. That's what he was just telling you. Yeah. So. Oh, no, this is a Nintendo GameCube. Yeah, that's a GameCube controller. So, yeah. So I got 40 from Chris the Goose. I Is haven't seen 42? a GameCube, but I do have another, I do have another um, case that I have to go through of, yeah. like, gaming systems. I got Chris the Goose at 40. Who's going to give us 42? 40, 40, who's going to give me 42? 40. So does it have this expansion in this box? No, it does not. So I got Dennis to a 42. Who's going to give me 44? You could try to get him, yeah. Yeah. So I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? Maybe one of these guys that's bidding has one. Yeah, they usually do. 42. Who's going to give me 44? I got Dennis to a 40, 42. Who's going to give me 44? I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? I got 42 uh, going once to Dennis Do Who's going to give me 44? I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? <clears throat> and that's up. I got 42 going twice to Dennis Do. I'm uh, looking for 44. I got third and final time for Dennis Do for $42. Chris the Goose, no always. Point. Melissa's on point. Always, 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 always. Just incredible. And we are sold to Dennis Do at $42. Thank you so much, Dennis. So, but. I love repeat customers, it means they're happy. Right. That they uh, get. Sorry, sorry, Anthony, you missed. Yeah, it was already sold, my man. Sorry, Anthony. Yeah. So, what do you want to do? You want to do one more? Or you just think we're gonna? Um, I really think we're. Well, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys pick. I have um. I have I have a plush I have a plush lot, and then I also have a men's clothing lot. I have a woman's clothing lot. I have a vintage ashtray lot. I have a haunted box. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna go tonight. I if it's um, why men's clothing. So somebody asked James asked for men's clothing. Men's clothing. Yeah, they, you know what happens, Anthony? I told you those Steelers. The Steelers get to you. Okay, James. No mystery boxes tonight, Krista Goose. Ashtrays. Okay, yeah, I got some really awesome ashtrays. Uh, mystery box for Chris Goose. Oh, God. I don't know if I did a mystery box. Oh. Maybe. All right, uh, let me do the men's clothes, um, and we'll see how we do with the men's clothes. So yeah. I usually try to ship um, – um, I usually try to bring the box up to, like, between 16 to 18 pounds of clothing. I'll ship for my repeat customers. You'll know 36 watching. Thank you, Pat D's. So, um, so you'll get about approximately, um, so however many pieces are here, I'll probably add. And if some of my repeat customers know that I always add extra things to the lots. So I bring it to 16, 17, 18. So um, up to 38. What does that mean? 38 people. Oh, up to 38. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay. So this is a Kona Kai Trading Company. Um, let me see if it's silk. It's yes, it's cotton and silk. It's a um, so we're gonna start the bidding off uh, for twenty five dollars on this. It's all men's, all men's clothes. So this is a really awesome. I'll show the back. I'll show the back because then you can get really a good idea. So that's uh, a Hawaiian shirt. Now, this one here, you guys, intrigues me, and I didn't look it up, but uh, maybe somebody can. 
I've never seen this brand and I've never seen this type of shirt, but um, I think it's called First. And you can see that it has like a, a dragon right. in the back of it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a men's shirt. I don't know a woman would wear that. Um, then we have a Nautica. 25, Krista Goose. Medium, Nautica. Yeah. This one is like really pretty to be a men's shirt. It's called BC Collection. The fabric feels the fabric feels really really nice on this. Mm -hmm. So, and <clears throat> the I got James Cisco at twenty five. Who's going to be twenty seven? This is a twenty five. Who's going to be twenty seven? Tommy Bahama Silk Men's Extra Large. Topical yes, shirt. June, they got you at 25. Okay, who's going to give me 27? Tommy Bahama. Yeah. You got 25. Who's going to give me 27? This is going to um, this is going to sell the deal. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. It's already bid 25 already, so. Hey, a Donald Trump shirt. All right. Chris the Goose at 20. Ah, I got James Cisco at 29. No political comments, you guys. No political comments. Ooh. I'll just hold this up for a second. Yay. Donald J. Trump. Yeah. I get 31 from Clayton Smith. Yeah, <laughs> right. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Hey, Storage Pirate. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> 33. I got 33. Who's going to go up? Let's go. No, seriously, you guys, it's a beautiful shirt. <laughs> it's I got 30, James Cisco. Who's going to give me 35? It's 30, a beautiful 30, 30, 30, 30, 35. <laughs> okay. And for you gaming boys and I girls. Make the auction great again. Yeah, Super Nintendo shirt. That's a cool shirt. I like that. You see it? Super Nintendo. Yes, yeah, it's a Nintendo controller. Yeah. Okay, this is this shirt. It's got a couple of little stains on it. I didn't wash it or spot treat it. It's okay. truly vintage. It looks like a men's bowling shirt, but I don't know. <laughs> I got Clayton Smith at 35. Who's going to give me 37? 35. Who's going to give me 37? I got 37. Who's going to give me who's going to who's going to give me 40? Who's going to give me 40 right off the bat? Who's going to give me 40? Lucky brand, lucky brand. I still like the, I like the Donald Trump show. Clayton Smith, 39, who's gonna give me 41? I love the lucky you and the zipper. <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. 40, who's gonna give me 41? 42. I got 40, 42. Who's gonna be 42? 42, 42, 42, 42. You guys, these jeans are like that super, super soft um, denim, you know, that like kind of, um, Polished denim, I think, is what they refer to it as. Yeah. James Cisco, I got Clayton Smith at 45. Ew. Ew. Get rid of that thing. Don't even show that. That boo. I'm turning you off. <laughs> boo. boo. Get rid of that shirt. I got 45. I'd rather That's have an the awesome. That's an awesome shirt. I got to rather have the Donald Trump shirt instead of that shirt any day. You, I can't believe you put those two together. I got okay. 47 from Pat D's. Who's gonna give me who's gonna give me 50? I got 47. Who's gonna give me 50? Yep. Marks and Spencer. I don't know. This didn't come out of a mini storage. This was okay. given to me by a very generous friend of mine who gives me things to sell on um on when eBay I, all the time. I, they're, I, they're very they're very affluent. So yeah. who's gonna give me 55? Now there are fifty dollars, guys. We go by fives. Who's going to give me 55? I get Clayton Smith at 50. Who's going to give me 55? It's a beautiful men's jacket. 50. Beautiful. Who's going to give me 55? Here is... They're called Antisocial. I don't know if you guys know the name. Yeah. I get 55. Chris Goose, who's going to give me 60? 50. Who's going to give me 60? 50. Who's going to give me 55? Who's going to give me 60? 55. Who's going to give me 60? 55, who's going to give me 60? 55, There's more. Who's going to give me 60? 
I got 65 from Clayton Smith. Who's going to give me 70? I got 65. Who's going to give me 70? Champion champion men's golfing shirt. Excellent nice. condition. Yep. 65. Who's going to give me 70? I got Clayton Smith at 65. Who's going to give me 70? These are a pair of 505 Levi's. Now, listen. I want you guys to know that I sold ripped vintage mm -hmm. Levi's mm -hmm. on eBay. People buy them. I don't know why, but they, they do. Love them. Yeah. They love them. They, they love, do. They're already, they're already broken in. That's why. Yeah, they love them. 55. So, who's going to give me 60? I got 55 from Clayton Smith. Who's going to give me 60? Vintage Levi's. 65. Who's going to give me 70? This is my favorite, and I was going to keep this. I debated it. This is a vintage Levi's jacket. Yeah, it's awesome. 65, 70. It's really, really awesome. What's her name in the, in the show? I actually tried it on. My friend Dolores was here. She's like, you need to keep that, but I'll never yeah, wear it. He wore the leather, the jean jacket. Yeah, I love cool. it. You want to be Ali Sheedy from Breakfast Club. That's why. I want to what? You want to be Ali Sheedy from Breakfast Club. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, oh! Which one? Which girl was that? The one that wore the, the Levi's jean jacket. Oh yeah, I wore. I grew up wearing my Levi's jacket my whole entire teenage years. Loved my Levi's yeah, jacket. I, yeah. I love this one. It's a size large, well, you guys. You it's want to know really if it's beautiful. Red, if it's red tabbed or orange tab. Um, the Levi's jacket. But, yeah, that's what it's saying. Red or orange? Red tab. Oh, red as tab. long as the rip is in the right place. Okay, wait a minute. It's um, I don't. Oh, red tab or orange tab? Clayton on the on the jacket. It's red. It's red. On the Levi's, one pair is red. And wasn't there two pairs of Levi's? I'll, I'll when I put it back in the box, I'll see. This is a vintage Brooks Brothers sweater. Yeah. Pamela Lynn wants to know on the patch what year does it say? Huh? Pamela Lynn wants to know on the patch what year does it say? On the patch? On this patch? Yeah. It says a year? It doesn't say a year. Abraham, I know, but ripped on are not popular. We understand. We know that. But. Yeah. Okay. So. There's no year. Whoops. So I get 65 from Clayton. Who's going to give me 70? I get 75, 70, 65. Who's going to give me 70? Okay. On so this is a, on white tag, Abraham says. On the white tag, it's cut. It's cut, guys. So, so oh. I get 65. Who's going to give me 70? You see how it's cut? Yeah. It's cut. 65. Who's going to give me 70? And this is an awesome shirt. This Hello, is really cool. It's, it's cut. So, going once to sixty-five dollars. It's got the pearl seven. snaps. Yep. Pearl snaps on a on a Wrangler shirt. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It looks it. It's, it's a it's a nineties late night mid nineties piece. Yeah. Nineties. Yeah, because I had a I had a shirt like that and with same same patching and everything. Yeah, with the buttons. Mm -hmm. I got 65 going once. Who's going to give me 70? The year is below the horses on the right side. On, on, the, on the jacket. Right side. Okay, tell me again. Oh, let me see. I'm below, not going to blow the horses on the right below side. The horses on the right side. I can't make it out. It's really it's worn out guys it's really all blended and yeah it's you can't you know, make it out yeah it's hard to see guys can't 
Can you tell by the tag? She said it. No, she said it has to the date near the horses on the right. It's either 1873 or 1850. Oh, 1873. 1873, Pam. May 20th, 1873. All right. May 20th, 1973. Uh, 1873. 18. 1873. Yeah. I think is what it looks like. Yeah. May 20th. Yeah, now that she said that, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. I got Clayton Smith at 60. I got Pamela Lynn at at a hundred dollars. Oh, for my Levi's jacket. For the heavy, for that whole box, yeah. I know, but I think it's for the Levi's jacket. Yeah, she doesn't so, care about yeah, the yeah. rest of the box. Well, I knew that. She's gonna give me a hundred and five. I knew that Levi's jacket was special. <laughs> yeah. Hundred. Who's gonna give me a hundred and five? Hundred. Who's gonna give me a hundred and five? I know the jacket, but don't go get the cash. And don't got the cash. Uh, gotcha. So going twice. To Pamela Lynn. Pamela Lynn. Thirty time. To uh, Pamela Lynn at a hundred dollars. And we are sold, sold, sold. The awesome, Pamela. Pamela. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many people are in the chat? 37, it says. Pamela, do I have you? Um, I have her, her address. Her well, the, Melissa just put it in the paper or in the, in the chat. Okay. Awesome. You need to get it sent to you, please. It's very important. Okay, there's, um, Derek, there's 36 people in the chat, and we've been on for an hour and 45 minutes. Do you want to call it a night? Are you tired? One more. You want to do one more, and then we can see what we, while we're doing? Okay, I can do the ashtrays. So somebody the asked ashtrays. about ashtrays, and uh, I don't know. See, you nobody... Know, I have a nice woman's lot. I have a nice plush lot. I have a really nice woman's lot. And I have a nice plush lot. I have a tie lot. And then I also have um, Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ashtray okay. lot, guys. Ashtray lot. These have become very highly, highly collectible because people don't smoke anymore. So, um, yeah, ashtrays, people are starting to, there's a big following for them. So this one is really beautiful. This one's a vintage one. So yeah. I'm, these are all heavy. Um, there's is, like, is that one mocked underneath? It could be a McCoy or it could be a uh, Rosebud. Um, it looks like it might be a McCoy. Look. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's 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 mocked. It's a yeah, it's it's McCoy USA. McCoy. Yeah. Yeah, this is a McCoy for sure. And guess what? I had another McCoy in my hands today and I dropped it. Oh, and it was oh, 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 It was so beautiful. It was a McCoy. It was brown and it had an alligator on one side of it with the tail going oh, up. With the tail coming up. Yep, I've seen those. So yep. beautiful. And I dropped it. I was so where upset. Are we at? Where are we starting at these out at? Um you guys, you know what? You guys go ahead and just make an offer and make a bed. Just keep in mind they're really heavy, and I'm going to be packing them really good with bubble wrap. So, I mean, it's going to cost me probably at least $10 to ship them out. So you guys go ahead and you can start bidding. Okay. Okay, so you have this one, which is a real McCoy. <laughs> and then this one. Yep, camel lights the pool, the pool table. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah, this, is awesome. this is a white one. It's a cigar one. Yeah. Here's a nice big one that's um mm -hmm. a cigar one. I got Krista Goose at twenty five. That's look looks like too small for a cigar. 
this is a classic one. I think every single one of our parents had one of these in yep. their house, right. right? Do you remember this one? Yeah, <laughs> gotta get Clayton Smith at 35. Who's gonna give me 40? Yeah, this is awesome. And this is a beautiful one too. Yep. Beautiful ashtray. I got 35, who's gonna give me 40? So, when I was going through the, I'll show you some of the little ones. Here's yeah. just a little one. And, oh, there was another one. There's another one, you guys. I think it says Maine on it. I'll throw it in the lot also. I, 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 I left it in my eBay room. I meant to bring it to this lot. So there is another one. It says Maine on it. Um, so anyway, so these ashtrays came from one of my last mini storages that I was buying, that I bought. And I threw a whole bunch of them away. Yeah. Until I came across the vintage ones, and I'm like, oh, this one's like a, this one's a McCoy. Like I think this one's a highly collectible one. So I looked on eBay. Pam wants to know if you ship to PO boxes. A lot of people don't. Um, just I don't. Does pirate ship ship to PO boxes? I think so. Yeah. Send the PO boxes. Yeah, I think it's no problem, Pamela. Yes. If your PO box accepts boxes, then yes, I ship there. Yeah. So anyways, um, so I looked up ashtrays and lo and behold, there's a huge following for ashtrays. Huge following. People pay a lot of money for stuff like this. So oh, I got 35. Who's going to give me 40? 35. Who's going to give me 40? You're welcome, Pamela. Thank you. And don't forget, there's one, a souvenir one that says Maine. It's a vintage one that will be part of this lot also. 35 who's going to be 40. This is actually a really pretty one. I got Clayton Smith at 35 who's going to be 40. I got Clayton Smith, Clayton Smith at 35 who's going to be 40. Going one. They're all glass except for this one is plastic. And the rest of them are all glass and ceramic. 35 who's going to be 40. Going twice to Clayton Smith. 35, who's going to be 40? We got 35, who's going to be 40? Third and final time. We are sold to 35 for Clayton, to Clayton Smith. Congratulations, Clayton. For 40? 35. 35, I'm sorry. Thank you, Clayton. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, 31 people in the chat. You want to call it a night, Derek? It's your call. It's your show tonight. How about if I do, um, I'll do a woman's lot and then we'll see if it holds at 30 or 31. Um, I do have some other stuff, but, um, yeah, we'll see. It's, um, you know, it's almost two hours. So I know the other night we went almost three. It's crazy. Let me get the woman's lot. I'm going to do a plush lot. Um, I can start this plush lot off uh, shipped for um, $20. Okay? 40 you said? 20 Okay. Shipped for 20 yeah. Okay. First one up is Mickey Mouse, and he is real Disneyland yeah. Disney. And the next one up is Eeyore. Eeyore. Missing his tag. Sure. Yeah. And he is real Disneyland. Yeah. Eeyore. Yeah. This one is Toto. Oh and my God. I think <laughs> I got Trish Goose at 20. He's the uh, Wizard yep. of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Yep. I got Candace Cock at 22. It's Toto. Yeah. 22. I tried to brush him to make him. Yeah, look I was gonna say, he looks a little. Uh, <laughs> he needs a little help. <laughs> and this guy. What the heck? That's um. Caddyshack. No. That, yes, is not, that is not Caddyshack. Who is it? Ricky, didn't you say this was Caddyshack? 
No, that's not Caddyshack. Empty Pickers okay. at 26. Rat Dog. <laughs> Abraham. Um, no, he's that doofus. Yes, yeah, doofus. It's Walt Disney. It's Walt Disney Company. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> the, the gopher that's pissed, that's pissed off in... Uh, I can't think of... Oh, he says it's doofus. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, 28 from Chris the Goose. Uh oh. What happened? Guys, we lost Donatella. Oh boy. Hopefully she can get her back in herself back in. Oh boy. Uh I'm gonna have to wait a second, guys. I know Chris the Goose is at 28. I have lost Donatella. So, well, while we're waiting, guys, just to let you know, hey, Bolo Buddies, how you doing? Like I said, if, uh, yeah, she will be back. Um, if you guys don't. Misha, no, I am not part of the animal lot. Uh, so don't forget, while we're waiting, if you guys, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come and see me as special guest on um, Mothership Products Auction. I have a lot of great stuff. So, no, I get my stuff set for tomorrow, Chris. I wish I could, but this is Donatella's auction. Yeah, no, she's probably going to be... Uh, Probably about 125 to 150, maybe more than that. So she was willing to go to 100, so she knew what it was. With me, just give me a shirt. As long as it looks good, here she is. My computer just, my computer just totally just shut down. Yeah. Now where's your camera? Oh, again. I'm here. Tomorrow, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time for uh, storage uh, for storage pirates, Ricardo's. So, oh, in uh, in in the one that Pamela won, there was a Tommy Bahama. There was some other other Levi jeans. Here she comes. Here she's back. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. My computer just shut down on me. Okay, I was at this guy. So this yeah. guy's a he's a gund. Okay. And he's a cow. Eat more chicken cow. <laughs> he's a really fat here, let me let me do full screen. Yeah. He's a really fat cow. Okay. And um a care bear. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, cool storage bar, that's awesome. These um I had these up for auction um, not too long ago, and uh, anyway, so they're back up for auction. And um, when I find two uh, teddy bears like this, yep. I'll put the word twin in my listing on eBay, right. and you'd be surprised. They oh, hey, Courtney's in. How are you? Um, you put the word twin in your listing, and people yep. that are looking for anything that has to do with twins will put yeah, twin. Yeah. yeah, and and so these both work. Oh boy. Okay, so there's those two little girls, and then there's this uh, generic elephant. There's another Minnie Mouse, uh, Walt Disney production. Um, lion. Uh, doesn't have a name on it. I have Chris the Goose at 28. Who's going to give me 30? It's a minion. I think. Minion. Um, it's either Kevin or Bob. I don't know. Remember this guy? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought you sold him. There he is. There's Goofy Vader. Goofy Vader. Goofy Vader. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Generic elephants need love too. Oh, was I yep. mean to him? 
I think I don't need him. Oh, uh, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> yep. I got, um, 20, I got 28 from Chris the Goose. Who's going to give me 30? This is Furry Friends. Um, that just brought. Sounded like it when you tipped them over. Yeah, it did. It is. You hear it? There it is. <laughs> Sounds like Adam snoring. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah, I hear it. I got Chris the Goose at 28. He's going to give me 30. Oh, God. I think, I think he moves, too. I don't know. I got 28. Who's going to give me 30? Hey, it's Olaf. You want to build a snowman? All right. It's going to give me 30. I got 28 from Chris the Goose. It's going to give me 30. So I got 28. Who's going to give me 30? Generic teddy bear. Gremlin. Disney. And, uh, yep. Panda. He's from, uh, yeah. Oh, that's another oh, guys. One. Yeah. Hey guys, this is a bolo. Any um, TY that you come across, if they have those sparkly eyes, mm -hmm. those are the ones that are collectible. The ones without the sparkles are not really worth much, but the ones with the sparkle are. I got Misha Renee at 30. Who's going to give me 32? 30. Who's going to give me 32? This is a hug fun. I don't know. It's a, it's a pig holding a caterpillar. I got 30. Who's going to give me 32? Oh, this one was my favorite. I forgot about this one. Look at how cute this one is. It's a little teddy bear it's sleeping teddy bear. on a pillow with a teddy bear. This is adorable, you guys. I love this one. 30. Who's going to give me 32? It's called... Um, it's a March of Dimes. It's called... I can't read it, but it's really cute. It's it's darling. The ones with the big eyes are called Beanie Boos. I got Dennis Stewart, 32. Who's going to give me 34? I got 32. Who's going to give me 34? 32. Who's going to give me 34? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 13. I got Misha Renee at 34. Who's going to be 36? 14. 15. 16. 17. Wow. 34. Who's going to be 36? 18. 19. 20. Wow. 21, 22, and 23. Oops. 23, and I got $36. Who's going to give me 38? 36, who's going to give me 38? 23 of them. I got 36. How many have Disney on the foot like Olaf? I think only one or two. I think that was it. Only one of them has the um, the the patch on the foot. But Clayton, if you're interested, I'll um in ones that have the patch, I'll try to put a lot together and put it up in my Facebook group, um in a bundle, um because I have a whole bunch with those patches. I got Chris the Goose at forty. Who's gonna give me forty four forty two? It's a nice lot, Chris. Thank you. Nice assortment. So how many pieces was there? Thirty. Two? Did I count? I don't remember. 23. Oh, 23. Oh, my God. Talk about dyslexia. I got 42 <laughs> from Dennis Do Who's going to give me 44? I got 42. Who's going to give me 44? Please do there. Big, big money. Hmm. I will. I have so many. I'll, I'll put them up in the group because I'll be happy to just unload them. Um, did I sell? What did I put? Oh, the Calvin and Hobbes magazines are in the group. I didn't sell them tonight. This is a super good deal with the free shipping. Yes, it is, Courtney. Yep. All my items I are got free 42 shipping. 42 from Dennis, too. 
Thanks for joining, Courtney. You guys, it, um, Bolo Buddies is uh, my friend Courtney, and if you're not a member to her uh, uh, her YouTube channel, you need to go join. And she also has Facebook groups, just two Facebook groups uh, called Bolo Buddies. And um, people post, or she'll post, she posts every day, things to watch out for. 45 from Chris the Goose, who's gonna give me 50? 45, who's gonna give me 50? Courtney, I use pirate ship, and I can. Um, I'll be happy to teach you how to do it. And um, I get Dennis Dues out. Um, Forty-five from Chris the Goose. Who's going to give me fifty? Well, only two dollars each. Yes, Abraham. Abraham, I still have your kitten here, um, but I am doing. Um, I'm. I'm putting together a meetup in West Palm Beach. It's gonna be on a Saturday afternoon, uh, probably late September. Um, you, I, think you, I think I tagged you or you saw it in my Facebook page. So I'll bring, um, I know we tried to get together a couple of weeks ago, maybe go sourcing or something, but I've just been so crazy with the kids going back to school and mini storages and I'm, I've got one on Monday, I've gotta go empty out. So here we go Good. again. Third, third and final deal. I got 45 from Chris the Goose, and we are going. All right, 45 going, 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 and we are so. Awesome, Chris the Goose. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, and thank you for everyone that, that was bidding on this lot. Mm. Okay, so we have 28 people. Yeah. I'll do the woman's lot and then we'll call it a night. Your call. Okay. I'll be coming. I'll be, I'll be, I'll come September 18th and 30th. Oh, if I have it on the 18th or the 30th, then you and your wife can come. Okay. Definitely. I will definitely choose either the 18th. Nope, she's there. You go. She's going to get the woman's lot, and the same rules apply. I'm going to bring it to between like 16 to 18 pounds worth of clothes. Um, here's a sampling of some. I kind of ran out of time. I made so many lots today. Um, so it will all be like beautiful designer clothes, and this will be shipped. And I'll start the bidding at $25, and I'll give you an example of the clothes that you'll be getting. So the first item is cachet. I don't know if you know that brand. No. Do you, Derek? Nope. No, it's a high-end women's boutique clothing store. And if, if you guys want to look it up and see what the clothes go for, it's called Cachet. There's one here at the Gardens Mall here. Yeah, in, this um, is the last lot, too, guys. So we're going to big, big, a bit high. Okay. And this is Sigrid um, Olsen, which is also a very, very good name. And this is a kind of a sheer, a beautiful sheer top. Nice. This is a, um, I can't spell her type of me on vacation. Okay. Las Olas. It's a vintage woman. That's the name on it. it Las Olas. Yeah. Las Olas. Las Olas. Las Olas. That's Olas Boulevard in in California. It's really cool. It's a beautiful shirt. Um, the appliques on it. Yeah. So it's you know, it's definitely a, a specialty shirt. And here is a pair of vintage, um, U.S. Polo. See, they call these mom pants because they're high waisted and they are vintage. Old Navy's doing that now. Making those high waisted ones? Yep. Mom pants yep. from years ago? Yeah. Um, okay, here's a beautiful, it's a, um, I don't think it has a name on it, um, but it's, uh, it's a very beautiful, just red. Like a party dress 
It's like in brand new condition, and I don't know why it doesn't have a name on it, but it doesn't. So, but it's it's a really beautiful dress. And then we have a pair of Calvin Klein. Again, those mom pants, you know, high waisted Calvin Klein white jeans. Hi. Children's Hospital in their name, please, and send him an invoice. Oh, Chris, I can't. I can't do that. They don't, um, the Children's Hospital, but I could probably find somewhere else to donate it. Um, the Children's Hospital doesn't take, that is so sweet of you. The Children's Hospital doesn't take um, uh, pre-owned stuff. Animals. They have to be brand new. So you can't donate them to the hospital. Right. You're so sweet. I'm trying to think of who else I can donate them to. I'll get I'll get in touch with you. I'll I'll donate them to someone. Yeah. What are we signing at? Down at 25? Do 25. And I'll do I'll I'll do like a little video on it with with, uh, with your generous offer. That's so sweet. So sweet. Okay. This is Evelyn and Arthur. Does anybody, do you guys know this name? This is another like Palm Beach boutique women's um, clothing store. These are like polished cotton, um, just casual pants. But the clothes in this in this store are super, super expensive. Um, you can look them up online. I'm sure that there's some um, online. What about a woman's shelter? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe our Lord's Place. We have our Lord's Place down in West Palm Beach. Maybe they'll take them. Okay. Last walk off. Um, here's a pair of Eileen Fisher. If you know the name, you guys, Eileen Fisher. They sell really, really well. And they oh. are a pair of black cropped, um, nice cotton, cotton pants. And here is a Ann Taylor loft, and it's a kind of jersey in the front and like a cotton cotton shirt in the back. Mm -hmm. And here we have a pair of Talberts, petite, size 18. Um, they are like pedal pushers also. They're not shorts, but they're not capris. They're kind of like to the knee. All right, guys, we're starting this off at $25. Who's going to start us with $25? And here are a pair of size women's Eddie Bauer size 16 jeans. Just plain black jeans. And they are, again, uh, not really capris. I think they go to like mid-calf. Culottes. No, I don't know if they're called culottes. That's what Clayton said. They're culottes. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. And here is a Speedo workout. Oh, no, it's a Speedo bathing suit. I thought it was a top. This is a bathing suit, the Speedo bathing suit for swimming teams. That's the bathing suit that they usually require. So you could definitely sell this online. Mm -hmm. Everyone interested at $25. The final pair is a pair of VIP jeans. All right, guys, starting to bid off $25. Who's going to offer $25, guys? And that's it. That's all I put in the box, but I guarantee that you'll get designer brand name clothes, and it will be anywhere between, like, 16 and 18 pounds worth of clothes. Shipped. 25, 25, 25. Anybody interested in 25? Speedos. Clayton wants 25, speedo. 25, 25. Anyone interested in 25? 25, 25, 25, 25. Anybody interested in 25? If not, nope. we're going to pass on it. We're going to finish off the auction, everyone. Who's interested yes. in 25? You guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Yeah, T's in for $25. Oh, T <laughs> does not need clothes. <laughs> she has bought so many clothes. I used to at the last time, from MT from MT at 27. The last time I had to like send a tractor trailer with all the 
parcels that she bought. Are you kidding? 27 at MT Pick. Who's going to give me 20? Who's going to give me 30? Who's going to give me 30? I got 27. Who's going to give me 30? MT Picker. They're all beautiful. Who's going to give me 30? I got 27. Who's going to give me 30? 27. Who's going to give me 30? 27 MT Picker. Is Kimmy on? Is Kimmy on live right now? Yeah, 15 minutes ago she's been oh, on. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah, we need to get off. All right, going once. I got 27 from MT Picker. Anyone interested in giving me 30? Going twice to MT Picker at 27. Third and final time for 27. Who's going to give me 30? And MT Picker at 27 going once. MT Picker at 27 going twice. Third and final time. We are sold to MT Picker at $27. Thank you, MT Picker. You're an awesome customer. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, don't. You guys, don't forget to bring your uh, go to. Uh, I was going to say bring your pocketbooks, but bring your wallets and pocketbooks <laughs> to Derek's uh, auction tomorrow night on Dwayne Station. Mothership Products. What time does it start? Uh, eight o'clock Eastern. Eight o'clock Eastern. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay. eight o'clock Eastern. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to be an awesome auction. He has lots of boxes. He showed me today. He's going to have lots of great, great toys and things that he's au he's auctioning off. Right. And thank you, Melissa, for monitoring um, the chat and everybody else that monitored the chat and putting up my links. If you haven't joined my Facebook groups, they're a lot of fun. Um, join that and jo join Bolo uh, if, if right he's still in the chat. Join each other. Everybody just subscribe to each other. Right. Um, and Darlene just walked in. Or popped in. Hi, Darlene. Yeah, she's Thanks here for a little while. She's been, she's been, uh, so she's been lurking. So, oh, she was so she's been in. Oh, I didn't see yeah. her in the chat yeah. earlier. Okay, awesome. Um, well, and usually not tonight, Abraham. A lot of people are doing a lot of regular lives. Chris the Goose, what kind of goods am I selling? Um, leash. I got a lot of stuff. I've got toys, I've got customs that I've done myself that I'm putting up. I have Hot Wheels. I have 12-inch GI Joes that I got a whole huge container full that I'm getting rid of. Video games, uh, movie lot. I have electronics. Uh, we got a lot of stuff and stuff I'm not even letting anybody know about. So let's keep on rocking it, guys, and tomorrow you'll see. So Okay, and I will be going live again with more um, items on Wednesday night. Um, I don't think I don't know if Derek is going to be doing it. I'm going to talk to him. It's getting to be a little bit too much. I am going to be doing this twice a week. Um, I am picking up another mini storage on Monday, a right. big one. I know, a really big one. So I am happy to do this. It's a lot of work for me to put these bundles together, but I'm happy to just sell them off to you guys and. Uh, you guys have been great friends to me and supporting me, and you know it's 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 great. My eBay store is taking a hit because I'm not I'm not posting on eBay. It's just it's like I'm taking all the time getting ready for these auctions, but I love it. Anyways, go over to Kimmy Station. Um, those of borderline you borderline hoarderish. Yeah, borderline hoarderish. She's having not her horse, not borderline horse riders. Borderline hoarderish. <laughs> borderline hoarderish. Uh, Go join her station and uh, yeah, tell her Donna sent you over. You guys all know her. And Clayton, thank you. Chris the Goose, thank you. Everybody, Rebecca, yes, I will call you, Rebecca. And um, yeah, thanks, everybody. And I'll post a link. All right. I know. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Can you still hear me? Yep. It just keeps going on and yeah. off like yeah. that. But. Um, yeah, I'll post a link to Wednesday night's show. Um, it will be here on my station. And like I said, I have lots more to offer. So, Derek, we'll see you in Kimmy's chat. And thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. Mwah. I love you. And Bye, uh, take care. Bye.
She knocked herself off. Forgot to turn it off, guys. She did it again. I can't do anything. So I'm going to bounce out and talk to you guys later. Have a good night. See you guys tomorrow night. Bye.